Hello again. Here's the problem we face, a slope of 30% or more at the edge of the lawn versus the recommended maximum 15%. So let's try the rough terrain kit with thanks to DM Chainsaws and Husqvarna. Both the box and the instructions say the kits for 320 and 330X models, but the part number is the right one for the 430X and others. You get a pair of wheels, brackets to attach the wheel brushes and six brushes, four of them being spares. You start by switching off the power and disconnecting the cable between cover and base. Pull out the grommet, which is easily done by hand, and pull the connector apart. There's a latch on the side of the connector. Now for the tricky part, removing the cover. The instructions casually suggest you just lift it off, so I deduced it must be a push fit, but I didn't have the confidence to pull too hard with the cover flexing in my hands. Eventually I turned them out upside down, I could feel the four fixing points. With experience it's straightforward, but not the first time, with no advice from the instructions. I will try removing it right way up next time. First plug to the mower. Take care, there are some fairly sharp bits of plastic about. Here are the rear fixing points and the front ones. Lever off the hubcaps, they're not tight. Then you just need a large spanner for the wheel nuts and a couple of specialised screwdriver bits. The instructions say 24mm spanner, but the biggest I had was 22mm. Fortunately, a 15/16 AF fitted perfectly. So what's different about the new wheels? The same diameter and width. The only difference seems to be longer but fewer teeth. The wheel nuts are supposed to be tightened to a torque of 18 newton meters but I couldn't find my torque wrench, perhaps last used when refitting my Ford Anglia cylinder head 40 odd years ago. No doubt it reads pounds feet rather than newton meters anyway. Time for a quick clean while the cover's off. Now to fit the brackets for the brushes to the underside of the cover. This is where they go. You'll need a star bit. Mine says it's a T20, but I'm not sure if that's any kind of a standard. They're supposed to be tightened to a torque of two newton meters. Can't see that being critical. Now you have to install the square nut in each bracket. In fact, it's easier to do that before fitting brackets. They're held in place with plastic spring clips. Then the brushes are pushed through another bit of plastic, which in turn is screwed to the bracket. Just for your amusement, you'll have to switch to a 4mm Allen key this time. Now the cover can be popped back on. Reconnect the cable and put the grommet back in place. A blunt flat bladed screwdriver will help with the grommet. And she's off. Now to move the boundary wire and see what improvement we get. That's the next video. Watch this slope.